and welcome to So Cute We're Dying, because we're super cute, aren't we? <laughs> I'm Haley. I'm the dyer and maker behind Hales Be Handmade. You can find me on Instagram as Hales Be Handmade and Etsy as Hales Be Handmade and all the things as Hales Be Something. <laughs> so I'll put that all in the down bar and on my blog, HalesBeHandmade.com, I'll have show notes. And Barbara is back. Hello, Barbara of Super Stitchy, the dyer and maker behind Super Stitchy. Um, you can find me on uh, Twitter, Facebook, all those good things at Super Stitchy, and on Instagram at Super underscore Stitchy. The underscore on the Instagram. That's the only one. But you got to remember. That's the only one. <laughs> and Super Stitchy everywhere else. That's right. And she's got a finished object. I don't have finished objects. We'll start right in on it. We'll start right in on it, and it is also kind of Woo-hoo! my... It's her design. It's going to count as finished object and work in progress, because the pattern for this is a work in progress. It is my first ever design for a shawl. That's lacy. Look at you can see that. Hey, hi. This, this is a great summertime wear. Nice and airy, very. I've lacy. never ever see. I have to knit one of these because I've never done this pico stuff. Never. And ever. yeah, the little picos just add a little bit of interest to that edge. But yeah, it's a pretty basic triangular shawl, top down from the center out. Really easy lace. It's called Gold Lace, and the working title for this shawl is going to be Gold Beach Shawl. Um, and so it's going to be perfect for like a single 100 gram strain of sock yarn plus a little 20 gram mini for the contrasting. This is super so lightweight. It's very and light very, and very breathable. It, I did um, some of Haley's Superwash Pumblebee sock, and Pumblebee blooms lovely. Like most it, Yeah, it does grow. Yeah, like I barely had to wash this. It yeah. did great. Like I just got to lay it out. You can probably, perfect. if you don't want it to grow, you can mm-hmm. probably set it down and just spray it. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, you yeah. could block it a little bit lighter. But I like how it grows. I grew. love it. it. Makes it nice and airy. It's hairy. beautiful. So I'm working on the pattern for this, and I'll Look be calling this. for test knitters here nice soon. Nice little triangle. So it's and perfect. That. So I'm really excited for it, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be getting test knitters. Be test ready, test knitters. That's right. We will announce. I'll put it on so, my Instagram. I'll put it on your Instagram. So that also counts one of my work in progresses that I'm working on the pattern, which, by the way, is a lot more complex than you would think. I was like, yeah, I'll just write out what I did. Oh, I know. know. There's like that's how I'm with my like t-shirt right now. Oh I'm gosh. looking at you in here, by the way. So <laughs> no, it's fine. It's weird. It's okay. We're figuring it out. I know. We're better at this. It's gonna be good. <laughs> but I, yeah, the writing the pattern is. The hard part. It is. There's so the many parts. The knitting is the easy part. And <laughs> yep. you don't think that until you start trying to write out what you did. And you're yeah. like, and then you're like, wait, how do I tell you how to do this? And yeah, the part for me is figuring out like, should I do it this way? Is that going to make more sense? Or do they understand it better if I do it this way? Tech so editors are helpful with probably that. Probably going to go with a tech editor, yeah. test knitters, all of that stuff. So it'll still be a little it's, while before the pattern's out. Yeah, but. I mean, it's good to have people look at it because yeah. I there are things that on my patterns where I've been like, oh yeah, duh, because I've seen yeah. that in other mm-hmm. patterns and that's how I should It makes sense in your head, but it doesn't always translate. No, right. So that's what we've got to figure out. So. You'll get it. It's gorgeous. Okay. Be ready because it's awesome. Yep. Do you want to talk about uh, your Oh, sure. I'm working on... Pattern in progress? I am working on a t-shirt pattern. I'm wearing my Touchstone shawl, which I've shown before. Mm-hmm. Just because it's a knitting podcast, so I <laughs> yeah. should wear it. Wear I should wear a knit. So there we go. But I am working on a t-shirt pattern. And I don't know if I'll be able to. It's not on waist yarn. Yeah, that's okay. So, you can still see it pretty well. Yeah. Do-do-do. Pretty. Is that the so, front? Yeah. Okay. So you've done my alphabet shawl. Yes. So the front panel is the same as my alpha oh, shawl panel. Okay, the kind of like spine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So and this is Tina Tape Yarn by Wool and the Gang, which is super. I mean, it's got some weight to it. Yeah, but it feels. But cool. it is very like, cool. Yeah. Like it's Doesn't it's one hundred percent tensile, I think, mm-hmm. which is odd to me. And it's a <laughs> tape yarn. Yeah. Let's show this color. That's my second one. And it'll be like the top part in the sleeves will be one color, and then the bottom will be another color. And it's going to have some a little bit of detail on the sides. So the mm-hmm. seams are going to end up being a center double decrease with some eyelets to kind of mimic the center panel. Mm, okay. So it'll be on the sides too. Fancy. Hopefully, it'll be kind of like drapey and flowy. <laughs> That's the plan. We'll see how it knits up. It's knit, I like how it's yeah, knitted it up. Good. And this is on a size nine mm-hmm. needle, so it, it'll be a fairly quick knit, which yeah. 
considering we're kind of in summer yeah. already, <laughs> right? It could be a good layering piece, though. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. That's My yeah. thought was, like, you could wear it for like summer, but you could, like, have a long sleeve shirt underneath it yeah. and wear it in the fall and have two colors going on. It'll be fun. And so that's going to be going down the center of the front? The center of the front. And the back reversible, be technically? I bet you could. Do you know how you're... Like, front or back? Yeah. The front and yeah. the back are the same except for the panel. So you probably could reverse so, it if you wanted to. I mean, yeah. If yeah. you wanted to reverse yeah, it or if you it wanted to do the panel on both sides, yeah, oh, you could have it match too. back yeah. and forth. If yeah. you're one of those people like me that sometimes things are inside out and the wrong way around <laughs> most of the <laughs> day <laughs> before you realize, <laughs> like, oh, crap. I've done that where I've, like... Maybe this is TMI, but like you go to the bathroom and you're like, oh, my underwear. My underwear is right now. You're and not alone. It's been that way. Oh, okay. I've done it. And then you're like, you have it, you're just, you just gotta be Well, honest. that's just what my day is then. <laughs> and leave it. I was saying that to my sister, and she's like, yeah, and I just go change my underwear. <laughs> At that point, it's just, it's a lost cause again. I know. I'm just like, change it all. <laughs> just, okay, giving up. But anyway, so this, and this is my Zane needles, mm -hmm. my interchangeables that I'm using. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And my Molly Klein design bag. Mm -hmm. Put your big girl panties on and deal with it. <laughs> Write the pattern out. I yeah. can't do it. <laughs> Just sit down. Just do it. So that's that's my first, what I'm working on. Okay. So be on the lookout for that. I've got a work in progress. And this will yeah, pull us into this. Yeah, this is one of my Japanese knot bags. This is like the prototype one, so it's... Not perfect, but we're no, not going to look super too closely cute, at that. Though. But I got no two at a time knows. socks going on my tiny nine inch circulars. Oh, yeah. This is some um, Desert Vista Dye Works um, in the, I think it's Franken somebody. I have to remember and look oh, it up does again, she do the, but... Does she do the Zombody stuff? Yeah, it's the Zombody oh, Dye Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so this is the Franken somebody. I actually got I always... a D-stash sale, um, but it is awesome. I love these colors. Purple and black and green are like my baby babes. I'm and it's kind of creepy Halloween-y, so of course I love it. Oh, and there's my... We love creepy too. Truffle Shuffle unicorn hanging out. Oh, oh there's that one? There's but... a little a cupcake perler bead I made. <laughs> it's cute. It's a little cupcake. It makes me want a cupcake. But yeah, this is how I do my two at a time now. It's kind of my thing. Just okay, but and then I find it easiest to just work it. Like I go back and forth. Like I've done a couple inches on this one, so now I'm gonna work on this one and okay. catch it up. Yeah. So you do two at a time on the yeah, like yeah. couple rows, couple rows. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I just go back and forth and try to keep them at kind of the same place. That is. But this one got farther. That's ahead more determination. I, than I may know. or may not have been knitting during the new Solo the Star Wars movie. <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the sitting oh, in the theater, just cool. like knitting, just knitting, knitting. Yep. So I got to see that, but oh, I I do head. movie knitting. Movie knitting is one of my things. So good, I need to practice a good stockinette sock project is perfect for movies. But yes, a solo solo a Star Wars story was great. You should see it. Huh? Nice. Yeah. So that's, that's one of my works. Official in endorsement from the So Cute We're <laughs> Dying podcast. Do you want to show your uh, your sock okay. project? <laughs> It was fine. And the story. Yeah. It was okay. I'm just going to grab my whole bag and bring it up because everything's kind of set so that I can keep, keep my stuff separate. But so I have my four at a time socks and I showed these last time and I had pulled out, I think it, so it was this pulled one. Pulled apart, yeah. Yeah. So I pulled it apart. I remember how you said like, oh, and that's how you can tell that you yeah. don't have them together. And the cross stitches. And guess what? I thought I had been pulling out the whole both time. of them. Mm -hmm. I kept doing this Turns one out without doing really like, one. <laughs> no idea that the I was. Poor other sock was so neglected. It was this whole time. I was. I thought I was doing both of them. <laughs> no, and I tried to pull this one out, and I couldn't get it out because it turned out that all the way down at the very beginning of the striping, I had like screwed up a first stitch. All the way down at the top because like this is one of my minis it's not this yarn this is one of my minis and then this is biscotti yarns mm -hmm. and it turned out that I had gotten this front one attached to the back one so it just means at some point one of the stitches so, crossed the yarn from one yeah well it was when I first probably. started mm -hmm. so it was when I had not yet like Got I was just groove. figuring it out yeah, yeah. 
And I thought that I was like, oh, okay, I get it. This is how you keep them separate. But this was... Yeah. I mean, to be fair... It was I, like, one stitch. I got real far on a pair of four at a time. So I was like, oh, look, it's actually turning into double knit. That's not good. Whoops. Yeah, well, that's what it was. And I just did one stitch it's that way. Whole, like double knit stitch. So I had to... And it was... It was fine. I did it. It was fine. It was fine. <laughs> I messaged she her and was like, out or anything. I went, I just she went outside. I was a cucumber the whole time. I just went outside with the dog, took a deep breath, just walked okay. around the yard a couple times. It was okay. And I came back and I did. I dropped she down did. She all it. the stitches all the way down this one line. And I had to pull this one. So I had to pull this one out halfway because I couldn't yeah. get it to come apart because it was inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. So like I was picking at this with a crochet hook okay. and then I had to like pick them all back up and pick them all back up. That's why a crochet hook it. will save your life. Yes. You have to have a crochet to do that. It's Yeah. Full. Yeah. There are such cheap sets that you can get on like Amazon mm -hmm. and eBay. Yeah, just a little of stitch a fixes. Full, or... Yeah. Of like oh, from tiny, time. tiny point zero whatever up to like five millimeter. Yeah. I mean, and that's what I have to fix stuff. I agree. And, and so I fixed it. She did fix it because she's a rock star. She dropped all of that and fixed it. Oh, I didn't feel like a rock star. <laughs> I felt like but, <laughs> but no, I felt like such a dope because I was like, how did you Hey, you didn't just throw this the whole, whole time <laughs> I've just been pulling out the wrong sock. Whatever. Oh, so that's the best part. You're gonna oh, need okay. you need like some Differential stitch more. You gotta remember no, they, which stitch they are. are looking at. This yeah. one's cheese, and this one's just a light bulb, a light bulb thing. thing. So you would think that I would have. Nope. 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 Mm -hmm. Didn't happen that way. Bad. I fixed Sad it. Sad story. It's but fine. happy ending. That's right. It'll That's be good. Counts. So hopefully next time I will have. I used to have um, four socks before I started super stitchy. I had a video on my personal Instagram. I might have to post on super stitchy sometime of how to drop back when you. Oh, you have like a tutorial like video? Yeah, it's like a quick little video, like less than a minute of how you can drop it down and pick it back up really fast. So Ooh, and I have to share that again. So you can see. We should put that on my YouTube through. channel. <laughs> yeah. We can upload it. We should. You should we'll add email it. it or. I'm sure I can send it somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Wonders Google Drive, Drive I think, because yeah. the length or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the space of it. Google's. We'll see how long it sends. Yeah. yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll put it on. Yeah, we'll share that good information. Yeah, it is a good skill to have. So you it's, don't just want to throw away the whole project. No. <laughs> well, and that's how, that's what, like, I was so determined so to cool. get these four at a time socks to work. Yeah. Because I like it. I it's like the process. Good. But I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> so far down. Oh. Three more back. You'll have to go it's check okay. out her uh, Instagram to see the pics. It's not, yeah, I have pictures of the stitches all dropped down. Mm -hmm. If you don't like seeing it's a little stitches little dropped, unnerving, but yeah, you know. if you get anxious about that <laughs> stuff, don't look at it. Look away. But if you want to see that I did for reals, do it. She go check it out. So, what else you got? Um, what else you I just got? Rock I know. Socks. I should that's, knit while I'm. That's why it's it's my version of a fidget spinner. Like it's. My hands have to be doing something. She's not used all the to time. the camera stuff. I know, I know. You I do so to, well. It's like, makes me feel better. It's okay. okay. And so this is one. You people out there are all now. Because I thought to myself, Show hmm, What's first sweater bag? ever. It's going to be a boxy. And it's in my Shop So Flow bag. Oh, so yes, Flow. I know that. It's Harry Potter. Harry the Daily Potter. Profit bag. I love this it bag. Is, and this bag is huge. And it, holds it is. I'm putting my sweater product in it because what it has inside. You're not ready for this. No. Bam. Ooh. <laughs> this was a single. Where did single you get this? this? Uh, this is. Um, I'll have to double check. Uh, make sure I'm pronouncing it right. But it's Carillon Fibers, I believe, out of Rocky Mount, North Carolina. And this is oh. one massive skein. She was she at the. Um, Fiber uh, Fest? No. Mm. I'm not sure. I know she's I at Rocky she, Mount. She I met her on the talking yard to us at the downtown Knits pop up market. Maybe? Or was that a different lady? Not, oh, it could have been, actually. Because she was talking about I the big full so. scheme. Oh, yeah, it might be. But, um, Carolyn, um, so we'll, we'll link to her on Instagram. Yeah, send me her info. Um, but sure. yeah, it's one giant skein, and I saw it, and I said to myself, she that is going show. to be a boxy. A sock weight boxy. And so you can see how it knits up. That's it's really pretty. pretty. And so I'm about, it's hard, the edges of the This is your first sweater. sweater. Yeah, I thought to myself, first sweater. Oh, let's do a sock weight box. Let's that'll do it. That'll be great. great. That won't boxy. take me a year to knit or anything. Oh, my goodness. Um, and you can also see I have another little truffle shuffle. Aww. This one's a sheep. Love it. 
Oh, and the glitter. And glam, the lamb. glam lamb. Glam lamb. Very nice. But oh, yeah, so I'm about it. six inches in of like 19 inches. I mean, I my to, first so. sweater was the so faded fingering weight. I and I was like, should I have done a fingering weight? I'm like, I got this. But you know what? I can totally do this. The um, the so faded is meant to sort of fit and mine didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's meant to you, fit. You yes, should. Sure. <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm excited it's about the boxy. The boxy is just, it's boxy. So, you know, I'm not it's, too worried. I know. You don't so, have to be. I, I mean, I was good. good. I, I gauge watched and everything. So it should be fine. But it what is comforting a good knitter. to know that it's a boxy. <laughs> It'll be okay. <laughs> this t-shirt that I'm working on, mm -hmm. first time. I'm a naughty knitter. <laughs> First time I have ever swatched, but I did it. Bang, so that I, it. So it that I have a gauge That's and right. I kind of know what I'm supposed to do. So awesome. I commend you for doing a boxy as a first I one. Know. It's gonna, I mean, but it's pretty easy. It's, it's, it's like this stuck in it. I don't have to pay attention. Bitches. I can just go going, you know, it's just gonna mean a lot of movie knitting. It's, That's what it's yes. Doing. Well, but. lots of reasons to go to the movies. Oh, Why not? Another thing that's not knitting related. <laughs> But they are sheep, and oh, they're so cute. I got yeah, you brought these down, and I'm like, what is she doing? No, no, what is they're, they're, uh, they're sheep, so it counts. It's kind oh, of... Oh, they are! Them, right? Oh. They're, um, they're called soul rams, and they're by um, Sorbet Jungle. And they have the cutest that's plushies, but so look at it. I love them because these guys, we are um, in my Vision V Super Stitchy Studio. Yeah, so I'm going to take, take pictures. I'll take pictures. Pretty close to being done, but these guys are going to hang out in my new studio with Aww. me. Other little lambs. They have little lamb They're friends. Cute. So now this is oh, the theme. Sure. If you are aware of other lamb, mm, not memorabilia, what would you call it? Collectibles? Merchandise? Yeah. yeah sure. Stuff. Please let us know. Yeah. I'll have she a whole have, little display. Yeah. Things. You can have a herd so of lambs. Lamb. You can be super they stitchy so cute. shepherd. I so. They're adorable. I wonder why they're so. I was like, oh, they're sorry. sheep, so they're you know they're knitting related. But I they are. Cute, and I want to share because I was really excited about these guys. They're <laughs> super cute. I All love right. them. So what do you got? What else? What else am I working on? Okay, here's another knitting frustration tale of woe because I just my brain is on my t-shirt. Hmm? And I had to force myself to put my t-shirt down. away from the t-shirt. Yes. I was like, put it. Because I'm loving the knit, which is good. Yeah. Hopefully that yeah. means other people will love it. Mm -hmm. It's not, this is, it's almost mindless. I promise. Yeah. Like, it's one of those, you repeat the same two okay. rows. Yeah. And just keep yeah, doing it. Right. But it, yeah, you can. But because that's where my brain is, <laughs> I cannot for the life of me, get this shawl to work. Oh okay. my gosh. Listen, it is not the pattern. It is me. Uh, I have <laughs> just not here. done. It's the pattern is great. It is well written. It is simple. This is the Serenity Now shawl that I have been showing forever. Mm -hmm. Listen, okay, so last time, at least. I am. I put my progress keeper, food barb, my pixie, pixie dust, pixie dust. Yes. Down there at the bottom. And then that's my little wine progress keeper. But you can, can you see? Can you see what I've done here? What I've decided to do here? Because I, first of all, I did not stripe this correctly at all. And then this is fun. This little slip stitch thing down the bottom. Mm hmm. Is that, is that not how it's supposed to be? I couldn't. I don't know what it was. There are two, it's the same slip stitch thing. You just, because it's a center double decrease, you have mm -hmm. to pay attention to the, like when you hit the center double decrease yeah. and like how you start again on the other You're side starting. of it. Yeah. My brain couldn't do it. I kept, there are spots where I have clearly done too many stitches on the side of like the stripe and it should have been whatever. I was like, you know what? This is the garter stitch shawl now. We're going to go with it. We're just garter striping. I don't care. This is not the order that it is meant to be. This is not how many in between. I don't care. It's I'm just, just I know. It's just going to artistic uh, license there. That's I'm, I'm taking license. lots of license with this one. And I'm almost so like I have to do a couple more and then I'll be to the point where you start the stripes cuz I have where's my picture? I just, like, that's the thing, is that, like, the focal point of this shawl is going to be the striping section, right, in the front of the big chunk stripes. 
So mm-hmm. it's like, I just want to get to that part mm-hmm. and do that because that's going to be what shows. Yeah, nobody's going to notice. Nobody's going to know that I started slip stitching and not anymore. Shenanigans. Yep. shenanigans. Nobody's going to know about the shenanigans that went on. That's right. And this show. And I was like, you know what? I own my knitting. My knitting does not own me. I will do this how I am happy with it. Because I just, I was, oh. And and it was, again, my brain, not the pattern. I couldn't do it. I don't know why. It just happened. (laughs) So that's where I'm at with this one. It's getting bigger. It will be pretty. Yeah, no, I mean, nobody's going to look at it and go, oh, no, that doesn't look right. They're just going to go, oh, wow, what pretty stitches you chose to do. Yeah. I mean, if you're like, it's totally if somebody's a totally knitter, to they that. might be like, that's not the same. That's and I'll be like, yeah. You're like, you darn too, it's not. <laughs> that's right. It was a choice. Respect my choice. That's right. I did what I was going to do. That's what it is. You just got to own it. That's right. So that was my other, I don't know how to knit stuff that's not what's in my brain at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. what else you got? Um, I think that's it for me. Those are all my goodies, my works and progresses. I have one more. Michelle. Okay, so in my frustration of all of my, the socks and the shawl, oh. and I just got upset and I was like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to, we're going to wind up some of the new yarn that I got for myself at the pop-up market. Oh, yeah. So this is from Debbie Duck Yarns. This is her DK Moreno base. And this is called Mood Ring. It's Ooh. super fun. Look at all the just flecks of fun little color. Mm-hmm. And this is just straight up a plain beanie. <laughs> this is two by two <laughs> ribbing. This is stocking it, and I just cast it on. I was like, we're just gonna see. You know how much I'm gonna laugh this. if you end up like mixing like, up a stitch on that or something? Oh my God. <laughs> and I will message you too and be like. This is ridiculous. You won't believe what I did. <laughs> I did it again. It's going to be when you get to the, I'm, I'm predicting it's going to be when you get to the decreases. And you're going to be off by like one and you're going to be like, oh my God. I, you know what? I hate my life. I would. I would too. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm going to throw my knitting. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. Nah. But so yeah. hopefully. This will help you get your And this back. is my little. That's what I need. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. need to get, get back in a groove. Back. This is one of my little. I'm going to make some of these and I can put them in the shop. It's a little witch boot. I was going to say, it looked kind of a little bit like an elsa boot. Yeah, with a little oh, bat on it. <laughs> Is it Halloween yet? I'm just, I'm ready for Halloween. I, I'm always it's ready for It's Halloween. only just getting hot. I feel like we didn't really have spring. I'm I already ready for it to be fall. And I want to wear my knits. Yeah. And I know there's like, because I'm watching other podcasts, mm-hmm. like Cozy Up with the Stitch and Sisters, mm-hmm. and they're all saying... One of them was like, oh, I can't wait for winter for my socks. And they're all like, no, no, we're in Canada and we just yeah. got nice weather. <laughs> yep. We are in North Carolina and it's been hot. It's hot. And when it's hot in North Carolina, it's not a dry heat. It's, it's muggy. No. Yeah, the air is it's humid for sure. It's honestly, when they say you could cut the air like butter, yep. that's what that is. Butter <laughs> air. That's what we have. Butter. butter air. If it that's tastes it like, like butter, I agree with it. I'm with it. <laughs> I would accept that, but that's not, it's just yeah. on you. It's oppressive. It's it is. It can be. I'm getting hot it's right now. This I know. Really. I'm going to wear it. Yeah, because the studio, we don't, uh, we don't have the AC running down here yet, so it's I not mean, too bad, but we're, we're making do. No, it's, it's fine. Yeah. I'm just, this is DK. I've got a fan action here, which I'm pretty excited about, but I didn't, it's a little noisy, so I don't want to run it. We'll be fine. But yeah, next time we're going to get ready. Sure. We'll be full on air conditioning. It'll be mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. But anyway, Debbie Duck, plain old, plain old beanie. Yeah, and I don't know if I will just, I don't know if I'll wear this or like, I think there's enough that I could probably make two of these. Mm-hmm. And maybe just stash, gift stash. You yeah. Know what I mean? Because somebody else at Knit Night was doing. already knitting Christmas, Christmas gifts. gifts. And I was like, thank you, because I don't already feel like I'm, yeah, I you know, know. I, I technically should probably have some, um, Somewhere I have Christmas stockings for family that I'm supposed to be working on too, but they're a little neglected. Um, so it's, maybe it's not June. I'll get working on those again. It'll be okay. If, if, if it gets to be July, then I'll feel like I really have to work on them. But because now, once it's like October and yeah. you're in full, I'm casting on for me mode. Yep. And then you're like, oh crap, Christmas oh, yeah. gifts. Yeah. 
Okay. So we'll get back to those eventually. But, but that's all I have for whips. Yes? yes? Yeah. I think so. The rest of it is stuff to show, acquisition stuff. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if you're just here for knitting and want to check out, that's cool. We're going to talk about other people's stuff now. Mm-hmm. But you got it. I'll let you start. No, no. That's it? It's my acquisitions were my I sheep. just have all kinds we're of stuff. my sheep. And then, oh, we're just going to talk yeah. about me while she knits. I bet, like, that's fine. knitting on this took over my life for a little bit. So. But it's beautiful. That's what it was. And it's I'm really excited. excited. And, it's, and you'll write up a pattern, okay. and we'll get some test knitters. Yeah, that's what's been going on with me. It's this guy, this shawl. I had to make myself, I know, I had to make myself put my t-shirt down. I'm like, you have to have stuff to show. I Okay, so I'm going to show, so at our pop-up market oh, that I had a little video for previously on the mm-hmm. channel, um, so that Debbie Duck yarn is one that I bought mm-hmm. um, at the pop-up market. I also got some Hey Lady Hey. Oh, that one. I know. This one's called The Force. It's and how perfect, perfect because, because you just talking just, about Star Wars story. You just went to Star Wars. That's right. I love it. It's all black and got it's all kinds awesome. of flecks of color. And I'm going to, so I wanted to put it with this one that I got from, this is this is a woolen boon, but I got this one from Downtown Knits also. And I want to do, there's a hat. Okay. I don't know if I want, well, because there's so much that I can get multiple hats out of it. Uh, but yeah, there is a hat sure. where you can like hold two of these double, and I think it's, um, oh, Jody of like Grocery mold. Girls. Is it like a mold effect sort of thing? Yeah. I don't, well, I don't know if that's how she did it. I think she did two strips the same yarn. Oh, okay. I don't know. I just want these cool to be together. So, those. yeah. Yeah, you should, you should look for some kind of like so, marled pattern. I think you could do something really cool with that. Like with a marled two. shawl? Yeah, something else where you hold those guys together. I've seen that Marled Magic one by mm-hmm. Stephen West. Yeah, he's who, he's who I was thinking of. Yeah. That's I'm not super projects. in love with it, though. You have to see. Just look. See if something calls yeah, to you. For something those. will. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so I want to put those it's together. So love those. Heather Purdy. This one was from Handmade by Zan. So and this bright. is on a high... I know. I love all And that's why colors. I needed to like grab this one. And this is her springy sock. Spring Madness. I dig it. I like it. I like all of those colors. Super tealy and purple. Teal, and purple, purples, greens. Those are jam. I saw it and I was like, I gotta have this. And so I was thinking of, I might do, I don't know if this is too close in colors, the crabulous colorway that I have from you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the next time when I finish these other four at a time socks, I could start the crabulous ones oh, and then do two these ones. Inside and those. do, yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be, because this is a high twist. Enough. Yeah. Yeah, and the, that's like, it too. It's a two-ply So I'll be able five. to, yeah. to spot the difference. Different enough, yeah. yeah. The colors, there's some similar, like the purple and the teal. There will be spots where it might look the same. But yeah, I think with this is a high twist. Yeah. So, I think it'll yeah. so, okay. be okay. And then I also have, these are just, okay, so I got, well, that's falling apart. I'm going to show some of these. I have a bunch of shopping to show you. I <laughs> haven't done this. I have not done this all like in the last two weeks. Mm-hmm. This is just stuff that I'm like, oh yeah, sure. I should show her. <laughs> no, it's like, <laughs> I have Shops. not been that bad. I haven't. Been on a yard And I haven't forget to show. Bottom. This oh, was by from Full Lotus. Full Lotus Pottery. And she was at the pop-up, the pop-up market yeah. with us. And she... She had all these coffee mugs, and then she said, and they also hold wine. And I was like, sold. <laughs> yep, this is a wine goblet now. That's what this is for. So now that I've showed this to you, on the way home from here, I realized as I was on my way here, is Adam's Vineyard, and if they're open, oh, I'm going to pop in there either. and grab me some wine for my wine goblet. And then these are just the other colors that I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that I showed you. It's like a peachy and a purpley color from Wool in the Gang. So this is going to be another one on my t-shirts. And I'm going to, so it'll be this way. The purple yeah. on top and the peach on the bottom. Mm-hmm. So this one will be like a more purple. springy, I know. It's, nice. it's kind of hard to, I don't know if it's showing up well. Mm-hmm. It's a very pale lilac color. Mm-hmm. It's very nice. So that'll be my other t-shirt that I want to do because I'll have to knit it. I'm mm-hmm. sure I'll have to knit it twice yeah. to be like, 
Yeah, I'm already get my stuff. another one of these. So. Yeah. Well, you did a DK one, right? I did, yeah. And that one might end up getting revisited and see if I can edit it a little bit. Change it? Change it up, yeah. Okay. So I can offer a DK version as well. I mean, I'm sure that if you write this one up, yeah, it's someone's pretty much the same. Oh, I want to do a DK. More than maybe if I do the DK, I need to figure out, like, uh, are the repeats the same? Like, can you get the same? Because you did a one scan DK. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so I might try to get my hands on a DK mini and add a... Ooh, yeah, I just totally redo it. Overhaul. It gets a over. Oh, why not? Yeah. Um, the other thing I was going to show quick was just this. I had mm -hmm. not showed these yet. I posted it on Instagram. So at the Fiber Festival, mm -hmm. the Carolina Fiber Festival, um, I was at the Unplanned Peacock booth, mm -hmm. and I forgot to bring this game that I wanted to match with. But the lady was really sweet. I can't. What's her name again? Oh, mm -hmm. it's on here. Is it? I hope it is. Unplanned. It's Unplanned Peacock Studio. I mm -hmm. think it's Natasha. <laughs> if I got your name wrong, I'm so so sorry because she was really <laughs> super sweet and totally helped me pick out colors. It was really nice. So these are singles, and this one is called Poe. Yummy single plies. And I've only done like worsted weight singles, and these are fingering weight. Yeah. So I'm excited to do a fingering weight single. Yeah. Um, and this is dark purple, and then this one is Gourd. Super pretty, lots that of green. Very, very fall. Yeah. But that's what this one, oops, I have them all together. That's what this one was, this Madeline Tosh. Um, is this, what is this one? Marina Light, yeah, her singles, Rocky Mountain High. Um, and so I wanted something to go with this, and I'll put in a picture of the shawl, I can't remember what it's called, because I'm terrible and I, I was not prepared. Her memories, just not what they used to I know, I'm not even that old. I know. I feel so, <laughs> I oh, feel so old. But anyway, so I want to put these together in a shawl. And I'll send, I'll put a picture in. That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do. I want the do. purple on the other side. Yeah. Put the Natasha in the middle. Okay. Oh, in the middle? Yeah. Like start with this lighter one. Oh yeah, yeah, I think you're right. That could be pretty. Yeah. Because this one's a bit lighter. Start with that one. From the Madeline or the or yeah. yeah, with the purple in the middle could work too. I think this works because it's almost yeah. going light to dark. Yeah, I just like that to because the purple pulls out the little bit of purple in the Madeline Tosh. Yeah. Too. And the kind Some of fuchsia colors. Yeah. Is that, there we go. Maybe that's showing a little better. It's a little bit of a glare next to me because my phone always glares. Yeah. So. The lighting in here is probably. It's nice in here though. Yeah, it's but nice. anyway, there's that. And then, you know, did I show this before? Do you remember if I showed I don't this? think so. That looks new. It's kind of new. I showed this on Instagram. So I, before I took a spinning class and actually. Figured out. figured out how yeah. to spin. I have a spinning wheel. I have drop spindles. I have fiber. Yeah. And I just, I tried and tried and tried and something was not clicking. <laughs> so it's like, I'm going to go to a class because I'm sure it's just something tiny. Yep. And it was. And, oh, I, went, yes. and I went to a class and I was like, oh, Eureka, I can do <laughs> it. What? But before I did that, the impetus it's for me just... doing it I found this Ooh. Russian drop, not drop spindle, support spindle, and it's wooden, and it's this dark oh, wood. Oh, that is gorgeous. I don't know if you can see. There is like mm -hmm. a rose in there. It's like resin. Yeah. It looks like a magic wand, so I had to have it. And then I got this little bowl, that so like you put time. it, yeah, so you set it on a table or wherever, and you spin it in the bowl, and it came with this fiber, and I'm going to have to put on... Yeah, I don't know if I can get it. Wait, don't try. I know. There. I'll let you do it. Pretty fiber. Little mm -hmm. roll eggs. I hate the echo part. Touch them. Feel, feel very green and purple. Mm -hmm. I have some I have very green purple teal stuff. I feel that they're like little on. fiber snakes. They're fun to squish. They are. They feel yeah, nice. Oils. We'll just sit here and feel these. I know. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Don't we're mind us. We're, oh, we're going to pet. <laughs> <laughs> I should hand this back. <laughs> but yeah, so I found this, and it was, I think it's called Folk Tales. Mm -hmm. I'll put it on the show notes again. Yeah. Um, all the way from Poland, because oh, so it was cool. just so pretty, and I had to have it. And somebody made 
be fun. That would be and fun when you're actually, I would love to see how that spins up. I was watching some YouTube videos and it's really cool because you're like fiber. In the, I mean, it's, it's spinning, right? Fiber yeah. in the sand spinning in the other, mm -hmm. but it's, it was awesome. It yeah. looked amazing. I want to do it. So yeah. I'm excited. But that's it. I think that's everything. I think that's all of it. Because we don't have anything new in the shop. Not at the moment. We'll no, probably no. have stuff we can show uh, next time. Okay. I have mini kits in the mm -hmm. shop that I put together that are yeah. just sort of new. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We had um, a couple of self-stripings that were at the pop-up, but I I'm slowly showing them on Instagram and everything, so maybe I can showcase those. Yeah, because you just had, what was that? The pink one. Love struck. Love struck. Yeah, Go so check out our Instagram. Point, I did a bunch of um, like bulky gradients for like hats or cowls, okay. and I really like the color combo, so I'm like, you know what? Those are going to be striping colorways now, too. Do it. And so I have done each of those into oh, a Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because it's for the four colors. Yeah. Striping. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to check those out too. Go we'll to her Instagram. Next time. Yeah. They're sure. very pretty. Go check them out. I have, yeah, I have minis. I do have a sale going on for Memorial Day weekend, and I am going to extend it through next Sunday. I think June 2nd. Like, like a week long. Yeah. Yeah. So 10% off minis and mini kits and stitch markers, 30% off DK. Because let's make some room for some sparkle yarn. Mm -hmm. I know. The sparkles are coming. The sparkles are coming. Because I have a bunch of, they've sold out now, those goddess colorways I did. Oh, I love those, yeah. Yeah, so I want to do those on sparkle in some minis and do like a mini kit. Yeah. And then, but I'll also add my zombie gaga colorway. Mm -hmm. I had a fun name. I think I was just going to call it zombies and goddesses <laughs> kit. Because it's, yeah, in fun. my mind, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> so... So hopefully next time we'll have some more stuff so to show. Time. Watch out for the, this pretty shawl. Yeah, Gold we'll beach. for test knitters and then hopefully maybe um, maybe there will be a pattern available here soon. We'll see how, how test knitting goes. Yay! And watch out for my t-shirt. I'll have hopefully, I don't know, give me a couple weeks. Yeah. <laughs> give me some time. Yep. So, but anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks. We'll Do check us time. out. Yes. Mm -hmm. And hopefully next time we'll... Be in the same setup, so yeah, we'll, that, we'll give you a little tour next time. We'll yeah, we'll finished. find some uniformity hopefully, somehow. Hopefully, this week is it, the studio should be finished. So fingers crossed, okay. it's gonna be great. We'll send some. We'll put some pictures in. So yeah. we'll thanks see you for watching. Time. Bye.